on this slide we talk about degree of a curve and the genus of the curve so we will use theorem 4.1 on page 122 of daniel perrin's book algebraic geometry repeatedly so you should uh, know what it is so say x is a smooth projective curve over k algebraically closed field so x is a smooth projective curve over k where k is an algebraically closed field so now we define the genus of a curve so the genus of a curve x where x is a smooth projective curve this is written as h1 x o x which is nothing but the dimension of the corresponding cohomology group h1 so genus is nothing but the dimension of the cohomology group 1 yeah h1 now this may make sense because this group h1 is a finite dimensional k vector space now this is again given on page 122 of Daniel Perrin's book. So H1 X comma O is a finite dimensional K vector space. So now we talk about an example. The example is compute the genus of a smooth curve the smooth curve and this curve is x yeah it is a smooth projective curve over k where k is algebraically closed but this curve has degree d Now x injects into P2. So we have the following sheaf. You have the contravariance OP2 to OX and then you have the ideal sheaf. Now this is the ideal sheaf. Again, there is nothing special about it. You should uh, see the two important exact sequences which you, you discussed before or you can see page 59 of uh, Daniel Perrin's book for this exact sequence. So, so this is the exact sequence we have corresponding to the curve x of degree t and x is in P2. It's lying in P2. So now you form the long exact sequence. You first have h0 again h0 h0 of ox then you go to groups h1 h1 again h1 of ox and so on Now we have to use the theorem 4.1 on page 122 of Daniel Perrin's book Algebraic Geometry. So first we have this group is 0 and this H2 OP2 is 0. So we have an isomorphism from H1 OX2 H2 OP2 minus T. So thus the dimension of h1 we want to find that will be equal to dimension of h2. And this we know. This we know from the theorem again on page 122, theorem 4.1, part c of the theorem. 
you have d minus 1 choose 2 because we are in space op2 so this is what we get so if the theorem it is minus t minus 1 so but d is already minus t so minus minus t will make it plus t so d minus 1 choose 2 so example is that if d is 1 or 2 then obviously genus is 0 for d equals to 1 x is a line and for d equals to 2 x is a conic section for d equal to 3 x is a elliptic curve and elliptic curve itself is a big area of research